Hello guys and welcome to another video. Jeet's WooCommerce product add-ons and extra options allows you to insert as many options as you want, either free or paid, in the product page. Also, it has many alternatives for you to decide how to display these options. For example, checkbox, radio button, select, text, among others. In today's video, I will focus on how to insert options using the radio button. But before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! In today's video, I want to show you how to insert options in a product. So let's take, for example, this dress here. Let's see, if I open it, as you can see, right now we don't have any options to choose from. So today, as an example, I want to show you how to insert size options. You know, the common ones, S, M, L. And also, for the L size, I want to add an extra charge of 5 euros. So to do this, let's go now to our plugin, Product Add-ons and Extra Options. Let's go over to our dashboard, from here to Yeast and Product Add-ons. Here we are inside the plugin. So for today's video, I want to create a new block. For that, let's go over here and click Add Block. I will enter the name, I'll call it Size. And now we're ready to start adding the options. So we'll go here and click Add Options. This pop-up will show up. As you can see, there are many options that you can choose from. But today, I want to show you the radio button. Okay, I will start with the title. This information will actually appear in the product page. So I will enter select size. And now I can start with the sizes. First, the S. So for label, I enter S and I will do the same for tooltip. This information will appear when I hover over this option, but we will see that in just one moment. Next, you have the option to add a description, an image, but for this size, I only want to enable this option, select it by default. Whenever a customer enters this product, the size that will be selected by default will be this one. So now I can move on to the next size and I click here, add a new option. Okay, I move on with M, so for the label, M, and tooltip, the same, M. In this case, I don't want to add or enable any other option. I will just move on to our last size. Add new option. And here we enter L. And for the tooltip, again, L. Now, do you recall I wanted to add an extra charge of 5 euros for this size? Well, we are able to achieve this option from here, price. If I click you see you have three options. Product price doesn't change, increase the main product price, or discount the main product price. For our example, I will select increase the main product price. And this next option appears. If I click here, you will have the option to choose between fixed amount or a percentage. I want to leave fixed amount and I will enter here five. Okay. Now we're ready with all our options, so I can just save. Now here we have the block of options we have just created. Select size and we have three options. Now there is one last thing that we need to do. And that is that we need to associate our block of options with a product. For this, it is very simple. We just go over to rules and we have the option to select a specific product right here show this block of options in. You can select either all products or specific products in categories. In this case, I will select this option and here I will search for our product. I enter animal and here we have it, animal pattern dress. I select it and I scroll down to show you this next option. Here, show options to you can select either to all users, only to logged in users, or only to specified user roles. Right now, I will leave it show options to all users. 
and we can save. Perfect. From here, we also save our block. And now we're ready to see the results from the demo. We're back inside the product page. And over here, we can see the block of options we have just created with all the details we configured. For example, we have our title, select size, and our three options, S, M, and L. We can notice the S size is already selected as default. If I hover over each size, I can see the tooltip information. And lastly, for the L, we can see here the note regarding the extra charge of five euros. So if I select this option, we can see how the price changes from 38 to 43 euros. In this case, I will be ready to add to cart and continue to check out. Well guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.